Abduction. Okay. Sorry. It's not affecting unless your hands are dry. Okay, so the axis is on the anterior superior iliac spine. The proximal arm goes across the imaginary line to the other anterior superior iliac spine. And then the distal arm goes down the midline of the femur. Yeah. Into like the upper telly surface. Okay, sounds good. We'll mm -hmm. check it in on her right hip. Right okay. hip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> um, I'm going to take some measurements around your hip area. Is it okay if I touch you in that area to get measurements? Yeah. And would you be okay taking your shirt off so I can get accurate measurements? Um, if you need me to, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. So let me ask you a question. Do we need to? Are we measuring anything up there? Oh, no, we don't. There we go. Ha. If you could lay on your back for me, please. My apologies. <laughs> okay, so the measurement I'm going to do, I'm going to have your leg come out like this. Okay. Can you do that motion for me? Okay, that's good. All right, next I need you to put your fingers on your, um, I want these bony parts right here on the front. Can you see where I'm pointing at? Right here. There you go. Okay. You can just hold that for me. We'll go on the other side. Okay, start over. I'm going to have you move this leg in the same action, okay? Okay. Okay, if you can do that motion for me, please. Okay, you can relax. I got, she has 30 degrees of hip abduction. Okay, good. You can write that down on your seat. Oh. All right. flexion and extension. So the axis will go on to the greater trochanter. The proximal arm will go with the midline of the pelvis. And then the distal arm will go down the lateral line of the femur to the lateral upper condyle. Sounds good. All right, same time. Okay. Right leg. All right, all right, okay. Right, flexion and extension. So Sarah, the, oh, you can relax your hands if you want. Thanks. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> True. Okay. Um, so the motion I want, if you can come over more towards me, please. That'll help both of us out. Okay. Thank you. So the motion I want you to do next is this one here. Okay. Do that motion for me. Okay. Relax. So I'm going to find a, um, a hip bone right here. So if you can move your foot. <coughs> Back and forth. Okay, thank you. You relax. Okay. Is that as far as you can go down on this leg? Sorry, leaning in with your pants. She's starting in um, 15 degrees of hip flexion. What does that mean? That she's lacking um, 15 degrees of hip extension. Correct. And what do we call that? A contraction. Got it. Okay. Okay. If you can go into that motion for me, please. Okay. 
Okay, you can relax. He has uh, 111 degrees of hip flexion. Um, what was that starting? I'm sorry? It was 15 degrees. Uh, 15 is the start. Okay. What kind of the muscle mass, right? Mm -hmm. And show me the hip abductors. The hip abductors? Uh, AB abductors. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so here's the one here that shows glute, gluteus medius the anterior fiber and deep to that is the gluteus minimus and you also have a tensor fascia lata and sartorius okay all right gotcha so the sartorius and lateral rotation okay gotcha okay so same side right side okay Okay, Sarah, if you could lay onto your left side for me. Okay, and bring your body back to me just a little bit more. Okay, and kind of straighten up your top half a little. There you go. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the motion I want you to do is this motion right here. Okay, do that motion for me. You can't? Okay. Um, so if you could lay onto your back, please. Okay, lift your head up. Okay, so the motion I want you to do is this motion here. Can you do that for me? Okay, thank you. She has a um, two minus for her right hip abductus. Okay. All right, Sarah. If you can try to go into that motion for me best you can. Okay. And I want you to, I'm going to put you into the motion. I want you to hold for me. And that was concentrated that day. Okay. Try to hold, hold, hold. Thank you. You got muscle in there, girl. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> All right. Flexes. Okay. Um, ooh, so you got the rectus femoris, got the sartorius, you got the iliopsoas, you got the pectineus. I want to say that's it. That sounds good to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's check it out. Right okay. side. Okay. Right side. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, Sarah, if you could come sit on the edge of this table for me. Okay, so now the motion I want you to do, you can lean back onto your um, onto your hands like this for me. Perfect. So the motion I want you to do is this one here. Okay. Show me that motion again. Okay, relax. Okay, so now I want you to go into the motion and I want you to hold it against my resistance. Okay. Go into that motion for me. Okay, I'm applying maximum resistance. Um, go back into the motion. I'm applying my maximum resistance. <laughs> into the motion for me, please. I am applying moderate resistance. I'm going to the motion again. Applying minimal resistance. Okay. She is a three out of five for hip flexors. Three out of five? Mm hmm. Okay, gotcha. All right. Um, no, she's a three plus. Sorry. Good choice. <laughs> okay, now we need palpate for concentration. Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting. <laughs> sorry, my apologies. Okay, so is it okay if I touch you here in your groin area? I'm going to palpate the iliopsoas. So, is it iliopsoas? I'm slightly over. Okay, can you try to go into that motion for me? 
Okay, perfect. Okay, so now I want you to lift your leg and I want you to try and stay in the position best you can. All right, hold, hold, hold. All right, thank you.